Hello. Today I want to talk about glue. And the reason why is because I have been asked uh, several times about this and why do I use so many different brands and why do I use so many different glues and and I just want to tell you what I do and what I do with all my glues which I love them all and I use them all and uh, depending on the project you're doing you're gonna pick the, the right one for the project you're doing <laughs> so uh, let's move them aside a little bit and just start telling you which is which and what what they do this one is a regular Office Depot glue stick um, this is just a regular white glue um, not too good for crafting or doing art projects uh, you know it's not strong enough this is just for something probably that you want to sketch or whatever and you just use this for that for just putting it around but it's not really a good glue to work with so that's that then since this one didn't work too much for me I found this one uh, it's from scotch and it's a glue stick as well but it's a permanent glue which is way different from the other one uh, it, you can use this with paper and fabric and it's really really strong glue and the fact that it's a scotch brand tells it all this brand is really good with their glues and with their tapes everything they do is amazing so I trust this glue really really good for my work even for whatever I'm building or whatever I'm doing that it's not need to have like liquidy glue this is this is a good way to go with then my favorite ones after I discover this Elmer glue is history the Aline the Aline's um, brand this thing is amazing I can't stop saying it but this glue depending also on the work you want to create then you know you go ahead and use them now this one is tacky glue this is just regular glue white glue um, that works with it's an all-purpose glue and it's a very thick consistency so it's really good what amazed me about this glue is that one day I was working and I, I actually was doing a video about my dragon and I had to glue two pieces of wood and once I just apply the glue to the pieces and then put them together I just, you know I was supposed to take them out and try to accommodate them I couldn't take them out and at the moment I was and that what amazed me about this glue so ever since I fell in love with it and I recommend it big time this is a good thing to have in your in your stack of glues then of course they have a big line of different glues these people have like glue for everything everything for and even though this was not a wood glue they have a wood glue but this worked perfectly for me then I bought this tacky glue clear gel tacky glue um, which applies clear and it dries pretty fast it's a very it's a very thick glue and is a very good consistency so again this is very very good for projects that you really don't want uh, the white glue to be seen or if you're using like transparency it's really it's really good to work with because you're not gonna see the glue anywhere so this is really cool um, then they have the Aline paper glaze which is for dimension dimensional uh, designs and laminating uh, this is really really cool this actually I replaced this with the um, with the ink essential accents they have the regular ink essential accent which is gonna be this one it's the same thing and it's cheaper and it works the same way um, the reason why I bought this is because I wanted to buy both ink essentials, the crackle one and the and the clear normal one, the one that is the label is pink. But when I saw this and the price, 
I went in, you know, rethink about it and it's actually it's a pretty good it's a pretty good um paper glaze or glue because actually you can glue things with it too even though if you want to use it for dimensional projects this would be great also to glue some embellishments or things like that so it's actually pretty pretty good and the tip is really really compared to the ink essential <clears throat> which the tip is kind of short and thin which is really good this one is long and very thin so it's really it's really convenient for whatever um, crafting especially crafting work you're doing then of course from Ranger we got the ink essential crackle accent um, this one is the one that crackles I thought that was neat because if you want to do something distressed or something that is vintage, this comes very handy because it actually crackles and, 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 and the visual effect is really, really cool. So I love this one. I love this. It's really, really cool. Then um, for my clay work, I got Sculpey Bacon Bond which is specially for Sculpey or any other um, clay brand but you, you know I like working with the same brand even if this clay the glue or the glaze you know whatever but it's really good like if you wanna stick a piece of the of whatever clay you're working with let's say you're doing I don't know a little man and the two arms are left out you can stick them together and you, the glue can go right into the oven and they're going to stick together very well. So this is pretty handy, especially when doing jewelry. This is really handy. So that's a good thing to have. And last but not least, my beloved Mod Podge. I love this stuff. I really, really like this stuff. I thought I was... I was a little bit scared about it but then after I did my research about it and went ahead and get it I definitely think that this product is one of my favorite products and with it this is the mate the mate a uh, Mod Podge they have different type of Mod Podge like gloss Mod Podge, glitter Mod Podge, paper Mod Podge uh, you name it I don't know there's so many different Mod Podges but this one, I should make it because it was my first one and I thought it would, I didn't want to have like a shiny look to my things and to my projects, especially with the, with the mixed media and the collaging and all that. So I, I, I choose made for my projects and I love it. I love it. I love it. I know, uh, for the mixed media people, they love, um, and they recommend with no questions asked, the golden, the golden brand that has um, mid gels and and things like that that they used to work in the same way. Uh, but there's people that don't like Mod Podge and there's people that like Mod Podge. So I I really can't say because I don't have the golden yet and I haven't tried it. But Mod Podge will do the work for you and it's doing the work for me nicely for my projects, especially for my mixed media art and my journaling. Um, the thing has become something that I really work with all the time. So, as you can see, if you have a variety of, um, of glues, then you you will be more efficient doing some works. I'm not saying that you have to have all of these. I'm just saying that in time when you're working in different projects, especially like me, like I do different things all the time. So I have to have like different glues for different moments and projects. So this is my stash right here. I hope you like this video and I hope it helps you if you're going to start doing your your, your art and your projects and if you have any questions just leave them down below uh, I'll be more than glad to respond any questions you have and if you like this video please rate comment and subscribe and thanks for watching goodbye